The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Money Masters. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Uh, welcome, folks. Uh, Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Right now, we got the uh, Dow Industrials up 84, Nasdaq's up 35, S and P's are up 10, gold is down 750 at 11.39. We have silver off 24 cents at 15.32. Bonds, the 10 years down five at 127, 30 years off 14, and King Dollar is down 254 ticks. And at TFNN, folks. It's a beautiful thing we got our man, Mr. John Logan, back. Totally. It's, it's, it's a great to have him back. We played he's, him twice this morning. We were so happy. <laughs> he's, he's, he's healthy. He's feeling good. And that's a beautiful thing. So we, we, uh, we really appreciate that. Um, you know, market-wise out here, it's going to get it, you know, uh, Friday, you know, the S&P's got to a high. NASDAQ got to a high. They couldn't handle it. It's testing those highs out here. It's gonna get wild watching this whole thing shake out. We're, we got window dressing. Yeah. And so. I was reading that. Yeah. And so what? This is the key to window dressing, folks. Goes like this. So watch how this works. Th this is where this gets really interesting. The way the SEC rule is, right? And let's say if we were fund managers, right? And window dressing specifically goes like this. Window dressing is the last couple of days of the month and the first couple of days of the new month, right? Now, what's supposed to happen is that, let's say that we're money managers and we own a lot of Intel and Microsoft and all this. Just, I'm just doing yeah. positions in general. Well, what's supposed to happen is that you're never supposed to be able to push those positions and buy more of those positions at the end of the month, just jacking up your own portfolio. Of course. It's but like, well, but that's like, manipulation. Yeah, you but, can't manipulate right, the but, stock market. Right. But everyone does it because how can you ever prove it? Sure. Okay. So that's and the there's a fine line, though, not to how can you prove it. There's a fine line of manipulating it versus aggressively buying a stock mm -hmm. that happens to mm -hmm. the market being reacts to that aggressive oh, buy. I, you know, there's that's right. And it has to do with being in the portfolio because what they're yeah. trying to do is mark up the sure. portfolio. Right. Even if, what ends up happening because they own so many millions of shares, it only has to go. You know, you you get at a point that's big sure. money, right? Sure. Okay, so that's one phenomenon. Now the second part of the phenomena is real though, and that you know that money is going to come in. And what yeah. that is, is that that's 401k, 401k money yeah. that just gets out of people's paychecks, right. whether the market's up or down. So in that case- It's like monthly allotment. The monthly allotment. allotment. Yeah. The monthly allotment comes in, then the key is, okay, there's gonna be buying because the only way that, 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 this is the crucial thing to understand inside the business. The only way that the money manager gets paid is if it's in stock. If, if it's in cash, they do not get paid on the cash at every broker dealer. Goldman Sachs, Morgan Stanley, it doesn't matter. If you have, you, you can have a, let's say you have a million dollars in there and $500,000 in cash, guess what? That financial advisor is not getting paid on the cash. Only, isn't that a trip? Yeah. It's, it, that's important to know sure. because that's, that is why, you know, this happens. Now, that being said, what you can get out of this and we'll, you know, the, today, tomorrow, we'll see, Okay, is there more buying or selling? Because I thought it was surprising on Friday that last hour there was some selling down, man. They they yeah, they sold this market down. They sold it down very quickly. The last ten or fifteen minutes, even of the day, was a nice down. It, it was. Bar. Yeah. It, it was. And you know, so when they always come out of nowhere, it's always like, okay, here we go. Someone is out there selling in a big way. Sure. Now the money managers do 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 they work at all on just a simple asset under management fee? When they when it when it even is asset under management fee, they do not get paid in cash at all. At all. Okay. At all. Yeah. Well, okay. Let, let me. Okay. So watch how this would work. When I say not at all, I'm talking about the major firms, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup. Sure. If you are um, like you get a couple of friends that are are a uh, RIFs, okay, registered investment advisors, sure. right? That's the best thing to be in the business, and this is why. What happens there? is that they can write their own rules as long as it's close, sure. and they can get paid sure, on no, that. Okay. That, that, that. No, I was just talking that, about that, the bigger. That's, what the, sure. that's yeah. what the difference is. Yeah. And, and, and if you are thinking of getting in this business, folks, okay, 
the registered investment advisor is the best way to get in the business because what has happened is this, is that the infrastructure is already built out um, for the back office so that you could have a large back office behind you sure, that's right. very safe. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that the registered investment advisor is not the one that's holding the money. That yeah. you're, you're putting you up team up with like a TD Ameritrade, right? Exactly, yeah, sure exactly which, which is dynamite. Yeah. Because then you are getting a personal service without getting you know, dropped into these monster companies. Yeah. Oh, so this morning, so you know, we were just talking about the broker-dealer business. So, uh, check this out. This is, this is Goldman Sachs. So Goldman Sachs brought a uh, lending, lending, lending club. I believe it's lending club. Let me just put go to GS. Yeah, here it is, peer to peer, okay. Goldman Sachs seeking lending club, okay. Yep. So last year, folks, go, you know, what has happened is this. All these peer to peer lenders is changing the banking business. Yeah. Right? What's mask here? There's a couple different things that are masked, but I'll go through the story first. What Goldman Sachs is doing is this. Goldman Sachs brought Lending Club um, public last year. Uh, I see. And what has happened is that these peer-to-peer -peer companies are getting so big so quick that Goldman Sachs decided to get into the business, and now they're raiding, the, they're, <laughs> they're raiding just, Lending Club. Right? They're, they're going right after them, and they're, yeah. they're looking for... So check this out. Now... That whole business, that, so, so watch what's going on in that business. That business in itself is really a great business because the amount of interest that Lending Club is actually getting is huge, okay? It, it's, not, it, it's not like a payday loan, sure. but, but it's very expensive, you know, and the spread is huge. So you can picture why big banks want to get into it. Yeah. You know, um, you know but so... I suspect what you're going to see is this. You're going to see more big broker dealers get into it, more banks get into it. The real key is going to be is how far will the spread go down? Because right now it's wicked expensive. Yeah. You know, uh, when you when you go up and you actually try to get money, you're looking at, it, you know, you're going to pay 10, 11 percent. It's like, oh, what do you want? You know, yeah. that's a lot of money to pay. Oh, for sure. The, you know, but that's what they're getting. No, and if competition increases, that'll come down. Though. It, and it come should down. increase. It, you know, because it, people, the market should demand less than that. Once yeah, because you're making money on air. That's I mean, it. It, 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 and the broker dealer community gets even more intriguing because once they get into it, or the banking structure gets into it, you know, they basically are lending. They have it on their balance sheet, but the reality is that you know, just they don't have it. It's just another way to lend, really. You it, know, in the it's same, huge. Yeah, it's huge. And then we got uh, this one's a this one's a big one. What's going on on out here this morning? CMG. This is uh, it's Chipotle, right? Yeah, man. Well, they, I saw headlines. They closed like 15 or 20 stores because of an E. coli outbreak. I yeah. yeah. I mean, you're talking about two states. That's They closed down. That's, I think it's probably even, you know, it's a bigger deal than just a couple stores. Not a couple. And I'm, I think it was 15 or 20 I saw a headline. But yeah. it's just the headlines alone in terms of the marketing. It, it's, you know, the negative marketing of an, an outbreak. Man. I mean, is somebody, you know, do you hear that and then do you go eat at Chipotle tonight in no. Tampa? No. Probably not, no. right? <laughs> they, they shut down, it says here they shut down dozens of restaurants in Seattle and Portland, Oregon. Forty-three restaurants in the two areas were closed after yeah. six of them were connected to the outbreak. So, I mean, it's the northwest of the country, but they know that that will hurt sales probably across the board in every single store in the country. Well, and, and what happens on these, you know, these most of these outbreaks, folks, it's the aspect of the where the factory is, and something gets into the factory, and that's right. that's you know right, for sure. Do you buy factory meat? I try and buy organic, not not organic, but um, whether it's just uh, what do they call the Publix line? The yeah, no, the, that's 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 green. Yeah, right. the green. Right, um, and it all you know, it's it, better it feeding. Is. It's free range. I think it is. Uh, and, and, and I should I, know it better, but I do. I'm trying. No, no, I try it, to be aware of. No, it, stuff. It, it, yeah. and this is this is the key, folks. It, it doesn't have to even you know if you get organic, that's great. But it doesn't have to be. But what you don't want to do when you go to supermarkets, the 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 ones that are in factories, okay, are in all the packages already. Sure. Publix, I mean, sure, whatever you know, supermarket you have around you. 
they, they have meat to pops and they make them. As long as they make them right, right. there, that's right. where it's at. Right, exactly. It's, it's not bringing them in, right. you know, you know, and that's because your, your probability goes higher when you bring them in from yeah. a, a place. That's, you know. It just makes sense. It does. It, Some it, factory it, produced, you know, animal. Yeah. Seriously, right? man. Whether they're just caged up and I listen to Nico and Pidge. Well, I'll tell you, when, <laughs> when, I, when I had, so, so pitch this, when I had the first uh, Obizak, when I was selling meat and hamburgs and hot dogs, I, I, in Boston, that's when the actually the slaughterhouses were still there. Sure. And so I'd go to the slaughterhouse and pick it up. That's, yes. if you've never been to a slaughterhouse, folks, that's kind of the weirdest thing in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? It really is, because in Boston. I just say that out of mind. They really yeah. they come in on the trains. The, it, the, the trains have the hooks on them. They go right, it, you know, right into the, the warehouses, sure. and everyone's there just whacking them down. Nice man. and fresh. And the, the hooks, meat, you know? It is. scary. Yeah. It, it is. is. It, no, is it is. It is. I know, man. I know. Okay, so uh, gold. Look at this. They, they, still, they still want to whack gold. We're down 870. Yep. 1132.60. They, uh, they still haven't taken the stocks down, though. It's been quite... A ride down since it that has. peak on Wednesday before no, the Fed announcement. There's, there's no I mean, doubt. That's a big move. It's a it's a big move. We we take a look at it. It is interesting the equity seven move though. Yeah. You pull that up. Not yeah. you know they they might have moved, but not like gold. That's a big no, move. No, not there's no doubt. So I mean we were over eleven eighty on Wednesday. Yep. And we're now at eleven thirty. Fifty bucks. Yeah. And inside the whole complex. So so if we take a look at the whole complex. Um, now, look at natural gas, man. They just kill that thing. It's in a rough spot. We're gonna have to hear from Dave from Clearwater, man. The natural gas, uh, he, he's, we'll, we'll pull up natural gas so we can Andy back. Heck tomorrow as well. Yeah, totally, man. Tommy O'Brien, Tom O'Brien, we want to hear from you folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow is up 78, NASDAQ's up 33, S&P's are up 10. We're gonna be right back. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523.
The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom, take your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. If we go take a look at the uh, Dow Industrial, see what's moving this market around uh, inside the Dow uh, Pfizer's the leader out here. Uh, you get Pfizer up 99 cents. Chevron's next up by uh, 213. United Health is up 166, and Goldman is up by uh, 239. Taken away from it, you get Visa down uh, 216. Coke is down 35 cents. Walmart is down 35, and Costco is down 16. That Walmart deal is really, you know, it's What's like. What's driving Walmart? What is that, I, that's what I, you know, I don't know. I mean, it's like Walmart's falling out of bed. It's like, is it, you know. Was this their earnings? Or? That was their earnings. Yeah. And, you know, I mean, it's pretty amazing. It's and been a slow slide. It's been a slow... It's quite a channel, right? It's, and if you bring this back, you're going to yeah. see that uh, Walmart was in a 12-year consolidation. It broke out of it. I remember looking at it in it one of It took two years shows, to yeah. come back in. It's like, oh, my God. You know, because... Well, from a business, you know, just fundamental standpoint, every time we talk up Amazon, we might yeah. as well be talking down Walmart because yeah. there's no way that... Right. You know, when you're going for, I used to go for, for example, TVs. You know, when I yes. moved into an apartment 10 years ago, right. I remember I bought at least one TV from Walmart because they were able to price things on even big electrical items yep. like that at that point. And um, this passed recently when I moved. So right. 10 years, maybe new TVs, bought two. I think I bought them both on Amazon. Yeah. That's so now, and that across incrementally, the board, right. th that's all it would take. Yeah, because their spreads are so small. All, uh, right, and, and yeah. so I was, you know, a conscious consumer that was looking for that price. Sure. Ten years ago, Walmart had it. Right. They were the person, and they, they were, were dominating even from the lower end to TVs. And now you see a huge jump taking out of that. Now you know it's going to. The get... economy matters too, and everything like that. But I mean, I wouldn't want to be competing with Amazon, and they obviously are. They are, and. It seems like the economy's all right. I mean, do you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, it's, it's tough when you know when you look at. I don't know how that shapes Walmart's demographic or their their normal sales. Or well, what, it, you know, that's. It, it would seem that you know the 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 argument would be made that when oil went down, that people that had to spend so much money on their sure, car, that, they should be able to save more. So that's that big would big money that, for people that, that spend every dollar they make. Right? Exactly. That, yeah. that would help you know the WalMarts of the world. Maybe um, that was priced in a while ago. You know, I just, maybe, oh, who yeah, knows? No, no, no. I don't know. I, I, you know? I, I, yeah. I, th I think. Because I agree. That should matter big time. I, and right? I, I, I think the bigger aspect is that people are going to Amazon. You know, Bridget, Bridget just said to me the other night. So, so check this out, folks. This, this is so cool. Is that the, uh, the mantra there was that, yeah, the gas prices went down so we can drive around our car and go buy everything. And that, <laughs> but that totally makes sense. Yeah. That, you know what I mean? In the, oh, in the, in you decide car. whatever you want to do with that cash. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Now, if I end up buying uh, what I haven't done yet, but I haven't bought anything yet, I go to Walmart all the time for fishing gear and sporting gear because sure. it's the best price and they got great stuff. Sure, right. So it's going to be intriguing. The next time I go... I want that. Do I just jump on Amazon, which is so easy, or do I go to Walmart? You can do the price search before you even get there, and Amazon's got free shipping. That's right. Oh, that's the camel, the three camel again. Well, I'm right? just saying you can pull up Amazon. You can pull up Walmart.com. 
Right. So you don't need, you know. Yeah, right. I pull up everything online. No, no, I, yeah. I'm with you there. That's, that's a big number, man. Amazon usually, they rarely get beat. And as long as you have Prime for free shipping, right. I mean, yeah. they rarely get beat. They Show, do. Shows up and that's it. Yeah. So the NDX100, let's see what's driving the NDX100. That's up 27 bucks right now. We should get Amazon as a, a partner for the amount we talk about. Them. Yeah, we Go should. <laughs> that's, a, that's a fact. So inside the uh, NDX100, you got Micron. Micron's up uh, 64 cents. That's no big deal. Win is up 267. So maybe Maycow's uh, coming off the lows. Uh, JD's up 97 cents. And you got uh, Mylan Pharmaceutical up 140. Now, what's interesting is that JD.com. So JD.com, folks, is um, you know a China company. It's a it's a direct sales online company. Now this thing has been a mess. Um, and I want to show you something here because this is where there's a disconnect here too. So this is this is off a high of uh, 38 bucks. You're at 28. No big deal there, right? But watch if we go over to China last night. Asia last night in general had a you know it was down. You had the Nikkei down two percent. Hang Seng was down one. Our media would be flipping out if markets are down 2% across the board. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Uh, you know, so it's like, and, and when you see that, and then you see, you know, a couple of the Chinese stocks up, like, that's Hong Kong, man. And yeah. Hong Kong was down 270. It looks like it's going to go back inside its lower trading range. Yeah, so. There can be a lot going on even within the wind that doesn't even matter with some of that stuff. I mean, some of that, maybe, maybe investors really see that the government can really get behind them and that they matter more than anything else, which could be completely possible in terms of building out that area. I can't see them letting their new casino, right? Aren't they the ones with the yes, enormous casino? That's, that's right. not going to fail. I mean, no. That would be all I, over I, the internet. That there, would be, there's, there's no doubt. So. And, and what, you, what you do get, you know, if I've learned anything over the, over the course of years, you're going to get pullbacks, but China's going to keep growing, man. <laughs> the world keeps growing. Right. Do you know exactly. what I mean? There's no doubt. You stay right there, folks. Uh, Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 108. Nasdaq's up 38. S&Ps are up uh, 28. No, S&Ps are up 11. Going to be right back, folks. If you're looking for a great opportunity to diversify your financial portfolio and hedge against the falling stock market, consider the new Market Safe Metals Hedge CD from Everbank. This five year indexed US dollar denominated CD gives you exposure to metals with gold and silver components and allows you to hedge against falling equities with a short component on the SPY ETF. You can earn up to 45% capped upside payment at maturity if gold and silver increase in value and the SPY ETF decreases across annual pricing dates. And should the opposite occur, your principal is 100% protected. Keep in mind, returns are based on CD performance. There is no annual percentage yield or periodic rate of interest on the CD. Don't let fallen markets get you down. Get the Metals Hedge CD. The November 12th funding deadline is quickly approaching. So hurry over to everbank.com slash TFNN for the CD's term sheet and other important product details and disclosures. Once again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. This is sponsored content. Everbank is a member FDIC. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed 
Swift has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the Taz Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. TFNN has just announced a brand new morning lineup that is geared specifically for traders in this volatile traders market. Every morning at 8 a.m., John Logan starts things off with his daily program, The Global Market Pulse. At 9 a.m., Larry Pesavento trades the market during the market open Monday through Friday on Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom O'Brien hosts the Money Masters for the hour, and Basil Chapman hosts his Tiger Technicians Hour at 11 a.m. From 8 a.m. till noon every market day, these traders are with you as they provide up-to-the-second market information so that you can make the most educated and profitable trades possible. The new TFNN morning lineup is happening right now. Tune in to see for yourself what kind of actionable trading discussion they have each morning, Monday through Friday, starting at 8 a.m., live only on Tiger TV at TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow right now uh, is up 98. Nasdaq's up 36. S&Ps are up 11. And don't forget, folks, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, I'm man, Mr. John Logan, kicks us off. Get it right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. That gets you the audio. tfnn.com. If you want the video, on the right-hand side, you see Watch Tiger TV. You can hit that baby and you get the uh, audio plus the video. Uh, coming up right after us, of course, we're going to have our man, Mr. Basil Chapman. He's going to be growling a problem with you. Then uh, Steve Rhodes, uh, Dave White will be back this afternoon. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, we do go from 8 to 6 because uh, Andy is on 5 to 6 right after my show. Um, football season, right? Uh, DraftKings FanDuel. So yeah. what, do you, what do you think about, uh, is it gambling or not gambling? It's definitely gambling. But I think people have a misconception of what gambling can be. Okay. That's what... Yeah. Anytime you're putting your money at risk, you're gambling on something. You're right. gambling on, you know... So there's a lot of people, you call them sharks in the poker world or even the trading world, yeah. um, that have a huge positive expectation when they're gambling on that platform. When they're playing, they're playing it for a living. I mean, there's right. guys that are statisticians who are breaking things down yes. to a T with every single player in terms of your expected value for picking up that player. Um, and so they're gambling with a massive positive expectation. So, right. of course they're gambling, but that's not a gambling problem when you're literally, these guys are putting hundreds of con um, entries into each single tournament that they, ha they have, you know, yeah. spending fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 on entries per Sunday. Really? Oh, yeah. Um, with um, They have automated scripts that are breaking down st statistics and immediately entering their lineups. Maybe they have um, scripts that run automatically on the computer that break down last minute injuries. And so some people don't even have the time to capitalize off of the news that breaks out before the game is going to start. You wow. know, a player's a late scratch. Um, he's okay. probable. He's, he's a late scratch and, and they're able to capitalize on that. So it's definitely gambling. Um, there's, there's, there is tremendous skill to it but there's tremendous luck in the same in the same week um so i i don't i had played it actually a year or two ago um because it's been around it just yeah. exploded this year right um and i played it then because i thought i had a fair edge and it was on a smaller site not okay. one of these two okay um and i wouldn't have put money in these sites because i just know that unless you're doing that type of homework you're up against those people it's it's yeah um it's a negative sum game you know you're entering it the sites are taking you're, out money for their rake, and then they're distributing the prize pool. So it's a negative sum game. Everyone's starting from a you know negative position. Right. You have to be better than the people you're playing, making those decisions of what players have value, yeah. potential, expected value, um, and it's it's full of sharks. So make sure if you're playing it that you're aware that unless you're putting in that type of work and have that type of information, you know, and that doesn't even begin to talk about the insider trading deal that came out with them having information and all that. Yeah. That's even before that came out. You know, that was that was the the, you know, final 
so for, so for the folks that are sharks and really do it for a living, they must love it because every every because what, what happens is that you just hear like okay even at the presidential um, um, uh, debates the other yeah. night right they all just blew it off the hey that's fun you know and it's yeah. like oh my god in my opinion it's identical with online poker for sure because yeah. it's a game that in online poker there's fishes there's sharks and there's sure. people that right. you know have a severe edge over other players. Um, but they're all adults making decisions, and they're both gambling for sure. Yeah, and the I, I guess the, the the point would be is that when people just think they're playing, I want to put something on it. Like if I played it, it yeah. would really be you got I, a chance, right? For sure, yeah. everyone's got but, a chance. But what would happen is that I'd be playing it, and I mean I'd only put up twenty dollars or ten dollars, right. just so I'm watching a game. And, yeah, and, and, and it is fun, and that's you know that's that's a form so that's of, great for the shacks though. That's you know a form I mean? of recreation. Yeah. it is. You know, right. so you look at it, and as long as you. Uh, it's all just understanding what you're what you're playing, I think. You know, and that was hey, I think that, the biggest problem that, when all that, that news broke that people didn't understand. Right. And still baffles me how they allowed those guys to have access because, you know, it's not like insider trading like stocks at all. You don't have, you know, this secret news events in in um, some company that nobody knows about. Right. But what you do have is you have the variety of players that most people are choosing. And if yes. you can understand what most people are choosing, then just simply by choosing other players, and you can almost do this if you're a good player anyway, but having them, that information is like gold. Yes. It allows you to pick some players with a higher expectation because nobody else is gonna own them, and then you get the points and nobody else does. Because so often you're tying, other players right. have the same players. Right, um, and in football, it always seems like someone's breaking out. I mean, that, you know, oh, they, right. it, it, in, in one game, all of sure. a sudden, someone hasn't done something, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 Sure. right? Yeah, so it looks like they, they, they probably do need some form of regulation, as any form of, you know, online poker, and I'm yeah. a proponent of it coming back in America. Right. That needs some form of regulation, too. Oh, you wouldn't yeah. want sites like FanDuel or DraftKings running poker if that's the type of regulations they put on their opponents, uh, their own employees. Well, you, I wouldn't be comfortable. You, ha you had brought up a great point. When this happened, folls, t Tommy's saying to me, I can't believe that they have a billion-dollar company, and they didn't Two billion-dollar have... Two billion-dollar company, and they didn't have... Right, I'm talking about in-house now. Regulations that guess Just what? Like nobody was smart enough yeah. to make the decision where the only people benefiting from that policy of allowing their employees to play fantasy on other sites, the only people benefiting from that were the actual employees. Not a single owner of the company of either of the companies I, right. benefited. Let alone the tons of venture capitalists. I said it. It'll be they, a Harvard case study of how these two mammoth companies that had unregulated access to basically gambling on right. the internet in America allowed themselves to lose that you know uncapped potential and they would have gotten regulated at some point just through right. the press was already there of this is gambling but they gave up a good three to five years probably where they oh. would have been untouched um, it, and that could affect and their they growth. lost Nevada immediately right right and Florida's has problems as well yeah um, they'll be able to pay everyone off in Florida they, <laughs> you know the money it's a big you know once you get that big I can't see it becoming untapped so now yes. it's just a race to regulate it yeah and poker probably won't be far behind poker's already in Nevada which is interesting now Nevada doesn't have fantasy what's gonna happen football. with New Jersey did that did that go they through? have they have New Jersey has actually all forms they have poker and they have online blackjack table games okay um, which again you know it's it's just understanding the expectation the reason why I like poker is because it's it is a game of skill it right. takes, you know, over the long run, skill wins out, for sure. Right. Like anything else, though, in the short term, um, there's a luck factor. Yeah. So, you know, there's luck factors in a lot of things, though, that people don't look at as gambling. Oh, no doubt. That's man. what, you know. Oh, it blows my mind. People think they're, they're invested. With their... I didn't bring up the stock market yet, but of course, but right? <laughs> exactly. I, I, I think... mean, you want to talk about financial instruments? Wall Street has made <laughs> how many billions of dollars on just figuring out the best way to... We'll call it invest. All right. Yes. <laughs> totally. I mean, where does it stop investing, and where does it become gambling? At I, what point? You I, know. But listen, it's it's totally cool because that's the problem. People have this gambling term, and they think they think of the guy sitting at a craps table at three in the morning, right. you know, losing all his money. That's a negative expectation game for every single person that plays it. That's right. why everyone has a problem with it because right. nobody's walking away a winner at the end of the year. Right. You can gamble on things where people have positive expectation. Whether you're gambling on short term interest plays, whether right. you're gambling on market, whether you're gambling yep. on poker, whether you're gambling on fantasy football, right. you know? And even, we'll push it further, betting on sports, straight up. You know there's guys that make their living. Oh, there definitely is. I mean, you're talking about, uh, 
Yeah, Goodfellas. We what was Ace, Ace Rothstein? No, they did. You know, Ace Rothstein. No, no. The guy who ran in Vegas oh, in the yeah. beginning. He was a big book better. Oh, no, book better. listen, I Those know a few of them in Boston. They, that, I mean, they... So they, there's positive they, exercise. They, I don't know, you know, so you make that decision on where you fall on gambling, but it's not all bad for everybody. No, I, I agree, man. Just like I, this, a lot of people lost a lot of money in the stock market. It's like a lot of people <laughs> lost a lot of money. I think more people lose more money in the stock market than anywhere. And, and somehow, and what, somehow people don't... You can't say gambling, you know, they think literally walking into a casino when they hear gambling. Totally. And they think they're an astute investor when they just plow their money into it, it, anything that is that's available. Right. And so. that's because of the, the amount of public relations that has oh, been done sure. over the course for of sure. years. Listen, okay. My friends, you know, and I, and they um, they come on great trips with me to go play poker and yep. still in their mind, you know, that's gambling in a casino and I'm an investor. You know, and it's just like, you know, we're both playing an expectation game of your money working for you at the greatest rate for all those decisions right. that come in. Right. But getting over that battle is a tough deal. It is, man. Yeah. It is. It's just, it's, and, and what, it seems that what happens in the stock market is people are really smart. They've made a lot of money, but for some reason they just give it to the market. It's like, how does this work? There's a lot of people too that just get brought in by that propaganda machine. And, oh no, you know, you yeah, call it propaganda. Right. It's like, you know, you, you should be investing forever. You should always be investing. Your money should always be in there. And, um, and, and then if and everyone dies, they, you don't know whether you made any money or not. They just don't, yeah, they don't even know what they have, which is a real tough call. Um, Pretty intense. Best odds in the stock market, not Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, what, being short the stock market right now, though, that's or what? Right, right? That's yeah. right, JB. I'm an investor because I sell the market short on a daily basis, right? You know, see? I mean, that could be it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally. Oh, right. Well, I tell you, the, the thing that's crazy is that, you know, I mean, and this is easier said than done, but the bottom line, you can lose, 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 and then make a lot, and lose, oh, lose, sure. lose again. And listen, it is and investing when you're buying shares in the company know. and you're holding for a long period of time. That's investing, for sure. Oh, yeah. My point is they're just the, the, the financial instruments nowadays, you know, whether it's the, the options, oh, the I, complex options, oh, the, and listen, you man, know, everything. I, I absolutely agree. I, if I gave one bit of advice when, you know, someone says, okay, I'm going to be in the stock market, I'm 20 or 30 years old, I would say to them flat out, Okay, buy the spy and just hold it forever. Sure, right. And, and that's it. End of story. Right. Right. End of story. Right. They, they, you know, you, know, and you then, could do really well holding a few great companies too, maybe, you know, over that period of time. Oh, you could, We're but you, you just don't, no, no, right. you, you just don't know what company it is. You're you a just lot don't safer. know, you know, so it's yeah. like, you know, it's like, okay, man, you know. Yep. It's pretty, it's, it's, the whole thing is, it's a machine though. It's, it is. It's, it's, it's you know, and they, it's good. It does make a lot of people money, but you know, you got to understand just the game that you're playing, and it, it's it, the same. You know, I say the game like the stock market no, I, because I there's a risk reward. And, no, no and there is. Anything with risk reward is, by definition, a gamble, in my opinion. I there's no doubt. And then the the, the, the key is is that when when it gets really positive. Then it's like, okay, when do you take it out? <laughs> this of course. Is, this is where it always gets it. Okay. That's where the mental it, game really it, 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 yeah. you know, it kicks in. You get the thing going, you know, and it's piling up. And then says, oh, do I get out too early? Do I get out too late? Wh where is this? And inside the market, it seems that even the best stocks fall out of bed and don't let allow anyone to get out. You know, yeah. you wake up in the morning, the stock's at 150. You wake up the next morning, the stock's at 120. It's like, sure. what just happened? Yep. And then the, the, the way that it seems that everyone has a hard time making a decision at that point, oh, which I totally sure. understand. Sure. It's going to come back. It's going to come back. Bang. Well, yeah, yeah. if we just look at... It's a lot of human emotion. It really if, is. If you just look at CMG... Okay, bottom line, I'm yeah. sure there's plenty of people you gap down. You know, we went from 760 down to 600, right? Gaps down. People say, okay, it's going to come back, going to come back. Guess what? It just went from 600 to 6, oh, well, right? no, no. 680. So it's seven, down seven, another 10%, though, from right. you know, two right. days ago, three right. days ago. Right. Yeah, down another 10%. And that's, <laughs> never mind uh, VRX, Valiant, okay? This is this thing. I can't wait to see. There was a great article today, folks. I mean, Sunday. You've got to read this article because inside the New York Times Sunday, about VRX, right? Now, check this out. This is amazing. So you have gap numbers and non-gap numbers. This is accounting, just straight out accounting. That's general accounting principle yes, you're talking about? Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. So inside the S&P 500, we have 500, there's 501 stocks now because Google's twice, okay. okay? I believe it said five years ago that the difference between gap numbers and non-gap numbers go like this. 
A gap number is exactly what you actually are making and everything is in the mix, okay? Meaning that your, all your expenses are in the mix. Non-gap numbers go like this. Me and you have a company, just Valiant, okay? Well, right now there's more than 263 companies inside the S&P that go like this. And then we say, well, hold it. We're gonna take this cost out and this cost out and this cost out of our numbers and we're gonna give you new numbers that we think we can make. Those are non-gap numbers. And they're explaining this inside the New York Times on Sunday. I'm looking at this, I'm saying to myself, this can't be real, this is blowing my mind. Now watch this, this is how good this gets about Valiant. Valiant's business is buying other businesses for cash, yes. right? And then- Small drug makers specifically, some, right? And then, then specialty. Specialty right. drug makers. Um, you know, bringing the prices up sure. slightly, yep. not yep. like the, the maniac yeah. that, yeah. that ruined no, no. everything for yeah. the I'm sure they weren't happy as that unfolded. Yeah. But inside their numbers, all that money that they spent for buying all those companies, they don't put it inside the numbers. Okay. It, it, they, they showed this thing, uh, it's like, you gotta be kidding me. So you buy something, they exclude- I'll have to read it, they, yeah. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. They, they exclude those numbers from their numbers. And there's a, they, they, there, is, there is a footnote at the bottom of, you know, 18 pages of sure. whatever pages, that that's what they do. Folks, it's a great article to really understand when you hear, and what they explained in the article was this. They explained that big broker dealers, banks, they have analysts that are going out there saying that this is the PNS, well, uh, earnings per share, and it's not. But they, they were showing it inside the sure. um, analysts that earnings yep. per share, well, it's not earnings per share. There, it, and, and it's off by like, Let's say, well, here, let's, let's look and see what this says right you know, here. And then, this, says, this says it's 11 PE. There's, inside the article, Valiant right now is still running at a 50 to, to 80 PE, a real PE. Yeah. It was, it's a great article if you really want to, you know, if you're a fundamentalist, you better read it. You know, I, just being a technical person, I'm saying to myself, I don't even know how the SEC lets them get away with it. And that's where it comes in, expected value, right? Yeah. That's, you know, what, what's your expected value of buying that share? Well, there's a lot of variables that go into and that, that And that's what they were talking yeah, about. Pe right. People think they, right. that they're buying it at 14. But smart investors are going to figure out that maybe the expectation yes. is market's pricing it wrong. Totally. You stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow right now is up 103. NASDAQ's up 36. SPs are up 11. We're going to be right back. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. 
David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under Trading Newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Catch Basil Chapman as he uses his Chapman Wave methodology to call the markets. The Tiger Technician's Hour, next on TFNN. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we get the uh, Dow up 100, Nasdaq's up 36, S&Ps are up 11 and a half. You know, uh, Tommy and I were talking about Amazon, and one of the Tigers in the den just put up... Uh, uh, Amazon's Black Friday site is here. So I think they have lightning deals going on already. And I was saying to you, I saw an article earlier today, they're going to have something like 30,000 lightning deals, which are like these quick sale type deals right. that lead up to, I thought it was Christmas, I guess, but maybe it's just a Black Friday they had them. I guess that makes sense. And so maybe that was the story. I saw the headline. Maybe they started them today because that's what, that's what the guy in the den is talking gonna, about. They're going to get me shopping right now. Like everything else, I mean, they're genius in they terms of genius, man. the That's motivation. Great. I mean, they have literally deals ending every 10 minutes. So talk about that, you know, feeling yeah. of you, you have to buy it now or don't miss the opportunity. That's and, <laughs> and we every know 10 that minutes that you can miss out on that, a product. Don't miss it. And it Get it, it now. Exactly. Yeah. Well, I think that the Internet itself has got us all attuned to savings. Like this morning, I'm at Starbucks, right? And, you know... I get a Starbucks coffee every morning, folks, okay? And the bottom line is that I like their, like their coffee. I'll buy a regular coffee. But I won't buy anything else in there unless it's on sale. So it's really funny. That's good discipline. Yeah, you know, no. so, so this morning... Coffee they, mugs are 300% marked Exactly. Yeah. So this morning they had 30% um, off. And I looked over and I cracked up. I said, you know what, man? 30% off is not, just not enough for me right yeah. now on that. But then I thought in general about how we're trained now that... And what happens is that, you know, if you get a little longer term view, you can wait and, you know, whether it's something I'm going to use next year, I just oh, wait right. for it to go on sale and say, okay, put, take that. Because yeah. it adds up so dramatically. Oh, for sure. Isn't right. that crazy, though? Right. It's, it's, no. it's really funny because I was looking around and it says, uh, you know, once you get attuned to that, it's, you, want a, you want a Always. deal. Right. Yeah. All right. right. You know? Yeah. Unreal. So uh, the, SM, the NASDAQ is going to be, uh, so the, what the, the NQs have done is this, folks, okay? They're, they're trying to make it back to, to, to their highs on Friday. Uh, thus far, they're just sitting right at ice. Um, you know, so we'll see whether it can get up into that I level. I know. I'm, uh, there we go. And Q to Z. So thus far, you're just, you're just laying right where... Well, actually, that was a little bit later. That was B4660, you know. That's where the downdraft happened on Friday at 4660, four, yep. four, six, six, oh, and we're at 4669 right now. There's not much juice there, though. 
it's having a hard time uh, getting up and over that because what you'll see is that let's go to the S and P's and look at the S and P's simultaneously. The amount of deals that got done this morning though is pretty intense, meaning companies buying companies yeah. and all that free money that's going to keep happening. But I, know, I was going to say it seems like every week there's every big, Monday. big action. Well, well, picture it. If, it. What's so cool about the large public companies? All you have to do is that if you're a company and I see that. My, my stock is trading at, uh, let's say, a, a P.E. of, uh, I don't know, 50, right? And you're trading at 25. It's like, I'm going to buy you. Yeah. You know, because yeah. immediately that, you know, it, you might not average out of 50, but you're probably going to be at 45. No, it helps. So right. it's very inexpensive. Yeah. No, well, it's, it's inexpensive right now, right? Yeah. until it's not. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because Make when, sure you're buying the right stuff, exactly, too. Exactly. Right? Because yeah. when this thing gets, you know, whacked, okay? It has to make sense. Right? Yeah, exactly. You know, and it's funny when we just bring up Amazon, I, I was going to say to you, Tom, I was going to say, man, you know, every time, and you want to see some folks, and I've thought this in the past, but you always think this at highs, Okay. You know, no matter what kind of a bear you are, and I'm a wicked bear, but I, I've done this just too many times. I, I've always said that, you know, Amazon's so great, but every single time it makes a deep retracement, you know, it's like, okay, so Amazon went from 405 um, in 2013 down to 284. Well, like, what are, they're growing like 25% quarter to quarter, year in year, you know, 30 billion to 36 billion for the fourth quarter. I know. So there's growth. Cheers. Yeah. You stay right there, folks. Uh, our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be coming up next with you. Steve Rhodes, Dave White, and uh, I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks. Wow! Look at him, folks. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.